Hello adventurers and welcome to another Bless Unleashed walkthrough. We will be walking through, eh, running through a little bit, Altar of Blood today. One of the first dungeons that most of the adventurers will take on as their first dungeon. This used to be the end-all be-all first dungeon for everyone until they made all the dungeons level 30. So let's just jump right into it. First thing first, we have a group of small mobs right at the very beginning. Just knock them out. You've got some greater zombies, a little zombie. Just blast through them. So our first boss we have is Caligula. He is a six to eight armed creature of some sort. Looks like a spider mixed with like a some cottage cheese, you know, some Swiss cheese, whatever you want to call it. Very strange looking uh, demon to say the least. So Caligula has a couple of main features. The first we'll go over is his little bubble blast that he will do. See, look at it. It looks like Swiss cheese to me. I don't know. Uh, he'll do a bubble blast when he hits maybe 90, 80%, which uh, pushes them pushes himself into the ground after he does it. So basically, he'll do a blue little surrounding bubble around him. He'll explode. Doesn't do a lot of damage. I would suggest just rolling away and avoiding it. If it's your first couple of run-throughs, it could do, you know, a good portion of your HP. Uh, his normal attacks are coned attacks for the most part. He'll attack, focus in the front, and then eventually he'll start doing a spread attack, which shoots out little blue balls around his whole body. When he goes into the ground, he'll spawn these little blob guys. Now, even if you are a higher level and you're in the regular... AOB. These blobs can do some serious damage. I've seen people that have gotten cornered. Rangers, mages, zerks, anybody have gotten cornered by these guys. They will DPS you down when they explode. They're pretty incredible little guys. Uh, they're like, you know, Mr. Clean's little scrubbing bubbles, friend, you know? Just, they're not scrubbing bubbles. They're just going to be dominating you. So Caligula, once he gets down to a certain point, he'll spawn what we call Watchers. The Watchers now, which you'll see here, is what you want to DPS down first. If you leave these guys up and it's your first couple run-throughs, they will do some serious damage as well because they'll, as you can see, they're spitting out balls just like Caligula does. And they can be taken care of pretty quickly. One to two shots with a higher level character or maybe a full combo or one a Meteor or Earthbreaker could take them out. As you can see here, we're trying to make a, take out all three just to show you what you should be doing during the, uh, the Watcher phase. And back to the Blob phase, you can... Obviously avoid them, run around the center, like you can see here, I'm just going to be running around. I'm not hiding in the alcoves. You could technically hide in the alcoves. Just note that if you hide there and Caligula charges in there, he will stuff you into the alcove and you will not be able to get out. I've seen it before. It's wiped people before. It's hilarious to watch. So really, that's the main... Uh, the, those are the main attacks from Caligula. He's not a crazy boss to start off with. Uh, just like I said, just try to DPS down those watchers when they pop up. DPS him, obviously, when you can, and avoid the blobs at all cost. That's pretty much it. Caligula down. And obviously, I'm running this all on a level 39 Zerker, and there is one level 40. You know, it's not a crazy group. I would say it's a pretty good mix here. I'm running with a couple of new guildies that they haven't ran this yet, so we're running them through it. With these mobs in between the bosses, that eyeball that we just passed... If you do not DPS them down or avoid them, they will probably kill you. Uh, I've gotten to the point where, even at level 39, if one locks on you and you don't avoid them and or DPS them down, they will take down your HP extremely fast. They're basically the hardest mob in this game, in my opinion. If, you, um, if you're singling out one by yourself, uh, good luck. That's all I want to say. Unless you're dropping meteors on them, Earthbreaker, those things will do some serious damage. It's, it's very fun to watch. So... As you can see, I ran down, grabbed the gate real quick, opened it up. Now this allows everybody to run in and jump in. And then what I technically do, normally do as a Zerker, I'll come back, get my Rage back, you know, jump on them to heal up a little bit with the heal axe. And then when you go through this gate, you want to dodge, roll through, or jump to avoid the poison on the floor. In the regular AOB, this won't be too crazy when the poison hits you. But regardless, you should try to avoid the poison no matter what. Now, when Caligula starts... As a melee, I highly suggest staying up and close into him as much as possible. Even if he's spewing poison at you in the regular AOB, if you're up in his face, the poison will actually shoot over you. Yes, the poison on the ground will still do ticks on you and do some damage, but that initial blast from his mouth will not hit you. It will actually spew over your head, which is something the devs, I'm sure, will eventually fix one day down the road. So the three big things with Rotten Specimen. So if you're marked, like the priest is behind me, He's going to stand still this whole time and keep that spew in one location. That is clutch in this uh, dungeon. You want to keep that spew in one area. He'll eventually move to another character and spew in a different direction. But 
objectively, you want to keep that spew in one area. That way the poison's not being spread all around the arena. When you spread it around the arena, that kills everyone else. It's, I've seen that white people so quickly, it's, it's amazing. Another thing with Caligula, there's no DPS check or damage check or anything like that, so you can just DPS him down as fast as possible like we're doing here. Just avoid the poison if you can. If you're melee, stay in his face. And that's basically it for the Ron Specimen. I think we did this in about a minute, if I'm not mistaken. A yeah, minute than that, there you go. So Ron Specimen down. Not crazy. Like I said, just avoid the poison possible. If it's on you, stay in one location or jump back and forth to keep from it spreading everywhere. And uh, if you're lucky enough to have the, a priest putting balls on you, that's even better. And like I said, this Eyeball Watcher, these guys do some serious damage. I kind of wish they focused me here so I could show how much damage they actually do. We'd let them, let them actually nail us, but they will kill someone really fast, especially if you're not hitting that DPS check. And it's not an easy DPS check for a uh, new group running through this, so be prepared for that. Now up here, when you get through this little area, you're going to have a little video pop-up. So it's a great idea to, like I said, kill that Watcher. Don't let those guys attack you while this video is going. Biggest thing with this dungeon, and I'm being totally serious, if you have a mage that blinks through those bubbles, it will ruin the whole dungeon. That last guy, Vasilis, will not spawn. Be very wary of that. If a mage blinks through those bubbles, it could ruin the dungeon. My suggestion, have a melee or a mage walking pop these bubbles. Once these bubbles pop, the bigger bubble will pop, allowing Vasilis to, you know, obviously break out of his bubble. That bubble, when it breaks, does no damage to anyone. It just pops everybody back a couple feet. Um, if you're a melee, I obviously it's suggested just to be up here in this area when you pop it, just so you can keep DPSing him when he starts up. So the big things with Vasilis. If you're marked with the spikes on top of your head, you want to stay in the same area, keeping the blood that spreads to a minimum, What's going to happen is it's going to make a big blood pool around you and it's going to pop spikes up below you. It's going to do some serious damage. If you have a heal ring or if you um, are a priest or you're a zerker and there's a priest behind you, if there, or if there's a priest behind you in general, they could heal you through it pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, but you do not want to spread this big pool around. It could really mess people up. Second of all, if when everyone's marked with blood, there will be little blood pools that pop around everyone's feet. Those blood pools, I mean, just try to avoid them. It's kind of... Here, neither here nor there, it's going to happen, you're going to hit someone else's spikes. They just pop you up in the air, they don't do a crazy amount of damage, but it will stop you from attacking. The biggest thing with Basilisk is his blood pools, there you go, there are the spikes that pop up. I'm going to stay still and kind of take the hits from him. Um, the biggest thing with Basilisk is the blood bubbles that pop from the ceiling. We're going to DPS through this and you won't even see it. When the blood bubbles pop from the ceiling, you want to pop those on the ground, run through them, if possible. If not, you'll spawn hell dogs and it will do a lot of damage to the whole team. They'll knock you up. They're a pain in the butt. Just kill those blood bubbles or just run over them and knock them out. That's basically the AOB dungeon. Hope you guys have